Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given the piecewise function f rest, is it differentiable at one? So firstly we're going to have to find if it's continuous, since that's a prerequisite for it being differentiable. We should state that the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of f of x is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of f of x, and both of these are actually equal to the value of f at 1. So the limit, um, if I write that right here, the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of x is the limit as x goes to 1 of this equation, since this is for x is less than 1, so x squared plus 1. What is the value of this? Well, since we can just plug in 1 into this equation and not have any dividing by zeros or anything, we can just do that. So we get 1 squared plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now, we have the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of f of x. That is the limit as x goes to 1 for this equation because that is for x is greater than or equal to 1. The greater than is what's important there. But again, we can just plug in the 1, simple enough. We get 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So now we know the limit exists since from the left and the right are equal. We also have to find f of 1. And since it's greater than or equal here, that means when it's equal to 1, it's x plus 1. Therefore, it's 1 plus 1, it's 2. And therefore, f is continuous at 1. Now, we have to find if it's differentiable. So if we write up here the equation for the derivative, if we just take the derivative of these two terms, these are both going to have plus zeros on the end, so we can just ignore them. So basically taking the derivative of x squared and the derivative of x. Derivative of x squared, we have a power function. So you take the coefficient, which is 1, um, which we can kind of just ignore since it's just invisible. You bring it down the exponent as your coefficient. And then you have your new exponent is to the 2 minus 1. x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x to the first, which is just x. So we can leave that as 2x if x is less than 1. And then we have an imaginary 1 there um, as the real coefficient. And when you just have a term with x to the first power, the coefficient is going to be the derivative. So it's 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1. And we're asked, is the derivative the same when you're approaching from the left and the right? So the derivative when you're approaching from the left is 2 times 1 is 2. When you're approaching from the left, or from the right, sorry, it's just equal to 1, which is just 1. 2 is not equal to 1, so the function f is not differentiable. If you want to look at why this is the case, uh, we want to sketch the graph in particular of the derivative. You can sketch the graph if you want by finding out what the derivative of this, or the graph of this parabola is in this line. That's not really important right here. What is important is that we have f prime of x is equal to 2x if s is less than 1. So x is 1 here, 2 here, therefore 2x being this line here that would continue but doesn't because it's going to be only for x is less than 1. And then for 1 here, x is equal to 1 afterwards. And we can see why it's not differentiable, because as you're approaching from the right and you're approaching from the left, they're not equal. But um, anyways, the final answer would be no. Um, as always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.